hi welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome if you're wondering who is she this gal on my screen my goodness my name is emma jean i am a yoga instructor of 200 hours and i'm gonna go over a video of my one year post i've been overdue for this and if you look back to my first video ever for yoga related obviously because there's like this weird car one that's like very just doesn't make sense to my channel but i have it up there for some odd reason i posted it on may 16th i know it's like june <laughs> and i meant to post this in may but i got so busy with finals and school and life and you know the drill and i wanted to kind of wrap around and come back to how yoga changed my life or as to why i even started this youtube channel in the first place all right i'm so excited to share this with all of you and stay tuned so to first start off just going way way back it was around high school and during high school i did cheer i did a little bit of dance i did track i absolutely loved doing all of those because they were different seasons so i was able to do something full time after that obviously i can't be doing that forever right and i loved doing all those things again in high school and realized that once i was going to college well i'm gonna try to figure out what i need to do physically like what I want to do to help work out and I've tried many things I've tried going to the gym and I it was fun for a little bit because I went with friends that I went to high school with but we all know that once you once you graduate from high school and go to college and your friends move out of the state you don't have those gym buddies anymore and you start to you know go, go by yourself which is fine but I didn't Find that motivational and i found myself paying for a membership that i wasn't going to a lot of us are pretty much guilty for that and i i didn't like that i wanted to find something that i can do i tried working out at home too but didn't realize that this also didn't help because i i was learning that i couldn't be on my own when it comes to working out i also when i started college i was going to community college and we had fitness classes and i really liked it because we were in groups we got to run together we got to work out together but again i don't take fitness classes throughout my whole college and that quickly ended as well so then i found out that gym was not very interesting to me because i was by myself i've tried zuba classes and i feel like those are really fun but for some reason I didn't really fit in and I felt like it wasn't really my thing. So that was something that I stopped too. Then something very, very drastic happened to me. In the summer that I graduated from high school, I ended up getting in two car accidents. One, my car being towed. The other one, my ex car got towed. Long story short, what happened was after I went to therapy and stuff like that, I did realize that I was getting these panic attacks or anxiety from being in those two uh, those two accidents because it was such a traumatizing event for me that I now had this worry of the future of what was going to happen and that everything in the future that was going to be happen was going to be bad was going to be horrible. I then went into the state that I was not going to like anything that I liked and I was just trying, trying so hard to find something for me to work out or for me to, you know, I've always worked out my whole, like my whole life for as long as I can remember. So this started to take a toll on me and started to make me, you know, upset and like down that I wasn't able to find something that was going to help me with the physical aspect of me. I then had a friend who we actually did cheer together. She dragged me to my first yoga class. This yoga class happened to be sculpt class. I think I've mentioned that in so many videos that my first class was a yoga sculpt class with weights and cardio. I instantly fell in love. Of course, when I walked in, it was hot. I'm like, what the heck is that? But then after that, I, I fell in love. I tried like the free classes that they offered me. I was there literally every day. I wanted to know more about the poses. What is warrior two? What is eagle pose? What is this and that? And I just wanted to keep coming to get better at it and to know what I, the heck I'm doing, right? It was hard, but it gave me a reason to keep coming back for constant improvement. Even to this day, I am still trying to improve today which is why i ended up liking it so much is because you can always keep getting better there's always room for that improvement at first it was a physical aspect like i said before i just wanted to come in i never listened to the teachers i never came in to really focus on what they were telling us it was just more like i wanted to come in get a workout and leave i wanted to have a nice body i wanted to look good i always like looked at myself in the mirror i always just wanted to like keep myself intact but 
after a few years, I realized that it is much more than that. Much, much more. Like, yes, it does keep you in great shape, but I realize it does that thing where it makes you feel great. It makes you have a connection with your mind to your body, your mind to your muscle. It's about making your mind still while your body is moving, which I think is insane. There is nothing like yoga that I've ever experienced because with this, you're working out your body, but you're also kind of like going through therapy and making your mind still which then makes your body follow like when you leave yoga you feel very light you feel free you have all this weight lifted off of your shoulders and this was something that I talked about in my first video as well I think it's hilarious if you guys want to watch it I'll link it up here but my voice is just like uh, I love yoga because it just made me feel so good I do not talk like that at all it was so embarrassing I I know like I'll I'll keep it up there just because that is my first video, but it's just so funny to see how different it was from my first video to now because I'm literally like so soft spoken and in this little turtle shell and in my room like with horrible lighting and grainy features. It's hilarious. What I say in there is exactly the reason why I started yoga, the reason why I started this channel. And this is something I want to share with you because I think it'll just make you have a better understanding as to why I'm doing this because I really like what I'm doing. I really like where I'm at and how I started this and the journey that I came through to be where I am today. So just know, at least for me, that's how yoga is. And if you have your reasons of what yoga does for you, I would love to hear it because for everyone, it is completely different. I know some people do do it as a physical aspect, but they've also gone through that journey where when you keep practicing, you'll start to realize it's more like therapy. It's more like therapeutic and it relaxes you and it helps you with your body, but also your mind. And it's just, it's something that I love doing and will continue to keep learning from it. I learn new things every single time that I practice. I learn new things from other teachers and other students. And I just, I love it so much. And I also think it's just something that has, had an emotional tie with me because it has helped me with my anxiety. It has come into my life at the perfect time that I really needed it because it was not only something that I needed physically, but something that I really needed mentally at the time because of the anxiety that I have in general, the panic attacks that I started to have. Yoga has really helped me. Overall, it's helped me with my personal relationships. It's helped me with my professional relationships. It has changed me for the better and I am here for it. I am here for it. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. I was like trying to hold it in because you know, this is kind of emotional and I feel like it's it's a it's a topic that can it can it can get to me, but I I think I did good. What do you guys think? <laughs> All right, well I'll see you in my next video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.